All right, guys, we're back. A lot of you have been asking for this video, doing some Halloween nails, some longer nails than what I did with my poly gel. So I don't know if you could see these, but these are already pre-made gel, full coverage nails. I'm gonna be putting them on my daughter-in-law, Michaela, who's over here, you can't see her yet. And let's go ahead and get started. I got these from Amazon, which is where I've gotten all of my nail stuff from. These are the ones that we're gonna be using. As you see, I've already measured her fingers to the nails and laid them out. These are the three builder gels that I got also from Amazon. I swear I'm spoiled to Amazon. But anyways, we're gonna let her pick what colors you have clear, white, and then pink, which looks really pretty. But we're gonna let her pick what color she wants, which is what you'll see on this part of the nail under here, unless we paint it, which we probably will because they're gonna be out. That's what the pink looks like. If you guys can even see it. Yeah, there you go. That's the pink. There's the white. Definitely not a milky white, it is white. Not like you can probably see, but if you don't see anything, that means it's pretty clear. I got these clips from Amazon. As you can see, they have a curve right here. There, so if you're doing your nails by yourself, you put them on like this, cure your nail. That way it doesn't constantly pop up like my last ones did when I had the holes. So that I show that to you guys. Let's get started prepping the nails. Now keep in mind guys, my first time doing someone else's nails, so if there's a point where we're not in focus or you can't see something. I'm sorry, because I do have to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Guys, now I'm just cleaning out under her natural nail because we want to try and make that show and just cover up the tip of the nail tip that we're putting on I guess the full coverage so we're gonna leave this part showing and then cover up all this with Halloween stuff or at least that's the plan we'll see how that goes now we're taking our file and we're just gonna barely buff the shine off of the nail and I'm also going up by the cuticle I'm not like you know rubbing the cuticle off but I'm going over it very lightly to just get off any cuticle I pushed up that was still there because I don't have cuticle clippers and I'm not really someone who feels comfortable with cuticle clippers on someone else anyways and we'll be back when we're done with that all right guys we've switched out we're doing the glue and that I got from Amazon with the tips because the Builder Gel nor the Poly Gel would cure under them. I don't know if it's my light or what, even though it was the light that came with the Poly Gel. So, but we're just gonna go with glue this time. I'm gonna push the cuticles back some with the nail just so it fits in there nice and snug. Okay. Make sure you press, but not too hard, <laughs> so there isn't any glue bubbles if you want to keep the nail showing, which we do. So hopefully, I can keep all the bubbles out. <laughs> up for okay, no bubbles. No bubbles, you guys see? Okay, on to the next nail. was that was a satisfying placement if you could have saw the glue start out the cuticle when I pressed it just slowly went all the way down with no bubbles I loved it and because they fit so perfect it's like not popping out the edges mm -hmm. I hate when I used to do my nails and the glue I'd put so much because I wanted it to not have bubbles and then it would seep out the sides you know mm -hmm. what I mean did you ever do that yeah All right, guys, we're getting there. We've got a whole hand done, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll put the glue in up by the cuticle. And I don't want it to flood at the cuticle, so I'll do this. It doesn't look like it's moving, but instead of it all sitting up here, it'll all sit down here. So when you put it on, it won't flood out the back of the cuticle. 
just something I do. I don't know. Oh, well. oh, it's so satisfying. Mm. And these tips, by the way, are pretty nice. I mean, yeah, they're bendable up here, but they're very pinched. Pull it down so you guys can see and not all up in your face like this. Mm. See how pinched that is? I love it. Hey guys this is what the nails look like gorgeous they're freaking gorgeous mm. now i'm so freaking oh, now i want to do one now guys we have to pick the polish color like... <laughs> i look like the other mother yeah i look like the other mother okay as you can see the first nail we're doing is going to be all white They say to do very thin layers, get them all the way dry, and then do the next layer. That's what I want to make sure we do this time. Look at me getting better at that cuticle. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done, guys, I'm just dipping my brush in this um, nail polish remover, cleaning up the edges before we cure it because it's gel polish it doesn't dry until you cure it which is good this one's going to be orange right yeah and this color orange is what we're using looking like so far so we'll be back when we get to the okay other. guys so we've got the white and the orange done now we're going in with the black glitter she wants you can't really see it that well but I'm gonna try and show it to you can you see is the light I don't know if the lights hitting so you can see it that well oh, let's get you centered anyways it's a black polish sort of with different color glitters in it and that's what she wants on her other three nails before we do the jewels and the decals. So oh, it's not very, op it's opaque, it's black. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be like see-through black, which is glitter. No, it's black. The opaque. Yeah, it's cute, it's fine. Okay. Snow for the black glitter. I'm just dipping my brush in polish remover and cleaning up around the edges. I will right, we'll be back to show you what they look like before we put all the gems on. Alright, guys. This is what they're looking like so far. Thumb, there's the fingers. She decides she wants these matte. So let's do it and see what they look like. You can do all of them. You can do all of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Guess we'll do them all matte, guys. I think that the orange and the white are going to look really good in that. Because they already looked matte without the top coat and they looked good. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put the decals. Or they're nice and long. I told you guys they're going to be long Halloween nails. I'm sure you guys are used to seeing longer. There's people that do videos that have them twice as long. I can't. 
And I know she definitely can't. We're lucky we got him this long with her, guys, because mm -hmm. she don't do long nails at all. All right, guys, this is what we're doing. We're putting moon on each of the orange ones, and we're gonna put the black gems that you see right here around the cuticle of the white ones, and then we are done. So, let's get to it. We're gonna put some of the rhinestone blue gems. Oh, yeah, I should probably use the brush because that moon's gonna take it. make sure it's nice and secured down. Okay. And we put a matte coat on so we do not need to put a top coat down before we put the gems on. do the white now and then these nails are complete. to do the next hand. I love this little tool I got. I don't know how I would have did this without it. You guys have to let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, leave it in the comments below and tell me if you want to see another one.